Oh, what is going on, buddy? Hello. It is Pigs and Bonders here, and welcome back to Ghost Trick Fam Detective. When we left off, <laughs> oh yeah, ten years right. ago, a man named Cecil, <laughs> Cecil, Cecil. Huh, <laughs> took a little girl named Lynn hostage, and then was killed by a meteorite fragment. That's a sentence. <laughs> Tonight, the man named Cecil met a detective named Lynn at a junkyard on the edge of town, and then was killed by a bullet. <laughs> But the scene I find waiting for me on the other end of the phone line feels like the final nail in the coffin of my lost memory. Oh boy. <laughs> uh, I see myself. Uh, um. <laughs> I... <laughs> what? Okay. What? All right. At this point, I think I have to fully go for it. <laughs> go for what? That I, because I think I like, uh, like, okay. Forget the whole thing about like a ghost being able to possess someone. Uh huh. This is full on. Like, either we have, either there's another one of us going on right now, which is gonna be complicated things. Or we got full on ghost taking over body possession right now. Oh. Like full on takes over corpses. Because our, corpse our body is did gone. get taken away by a blue person. Let's remember that. The uh, the the corner uh -huh. was blue. So there could be a ghost. It could be the same one that technically was like trying to possess, trying to control live people. Mm -hmm. Maybe it's easier if they're, you know, corpses. But uh <laughs> anyways, uh I mean it's the same vocal cords, so There you are, Commander Sith. Finally. Probably the oh, Sissel, <laughs> my good man. I'm looking everywhere for you. <laughs> Had a little unfinished business to take care of. Didn't think it would take this long. What about your people? They sure went out of their way to mess me up. I say, I've really every one of your conditions and our real deal. What, what right do you have to complain about anything outside of my pocket? We can talk about that when we get together. There should be a last communication by telephone. We'll arrive in one hour. I look forward to seeing you, Sizzle. Hmm. Interesting. Dawn is approaching. Uh, the darkness surrounding my own mystery is deep. But I know it's always dark as before the dawn. Hmm. Uh, yes. <laughs> We're entering the final stage of my little deal, my good man. Uh, sir, all preparations are complete, sir. And we just have a report, sir. Lights have been spotted, sir. Lights? Have they now? By all means, let me have a look. Is it meteorites? Meteors, technically. Well, let's find out. Meteorites uh, is when they land. Space nerd stuff. Uh, yeah, so very close. You will not disconnect from the communication cable and have no service until we arrive, sir. Very well. No service until you arrive. Wait, are they aliens? Are I, they in a space? Are they literal fucking aliens? I, but how would we, we go to a land? They see lights, like but, as in planet lights. But then, how would we use a telephone line to get onto this? Oh my! But we go through a telephone. Oh wait, God. it's a sub. Okay, there's still. <laughs> okay, well it was connect. That makes sense where they can disconnect. Because oh I was like, where's the God. connection to the phone line? I guess that's the quote unquote connection for the phone line that they were yeah. on. But, uh, nice try, Inspector Cabanella. Ooh. But you could never stop me. Ooh, spicy. See ya, sucker. All right. Huh. Well, then. I'm gonna think for a moment. Yeah. <laughs> so, that submarine guy and his people have a deal going with me, do they? If that's the case probably not the ones who killed me, right? Anyway, there's definitely something behind the inspector's death. I think I better talk to him. <laughs> yeah, because like, like, you'd think if he was going with the whole demands thing, he would be with them. But yeah. then why would he? Uh, I mean, and it does seem like, but and, uh, oh, fuck, because I mean, we have never seemed to have been on either end making uh -uh. these deals. Like we kind of been going back and forth against, uh, it's all fucked. 
It's all fucked. I, what if we're it's not the real Sizzle? So what if that's fucked. the real Sizzle? Also, I want to see something quick because there are more ways that we have to go around here. Because uh -huh. there didn't used to be this little helmet here. Because now we can go up to this uh, book, book up here. Top of this bookshelf is lined with books. The one on top is bound so precariously, it's a wonder it doesn't fall off. How did the old pigeon guy even reach up here? What if he makes his pigeon fetch it for him? Maybe. Oh, God. Rock. Oh, 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 all right. Hee <laughs> hee. What an oddly hard hat. Never able to wear anything like that. Would you wear any think hat? Of it. I don't remember seeing it here earlier. Yeah, you called it. It left clunk on the floor. This is pretty solid. I always remember that book standing out to me. Before I check out Kevin, I'm just going to do my uh, <laughs> the grand tour. Junkyard. Ray. Ray. Are you in my body, Ray? Oh, that'd be interesting. Ray. That'd be a Ray, hell my of a body, plot twist. My body disappeared before Ray left, so that'd be a very yeah. difficult jump to make. Unless he goes through a telephone line. Well, that's not there. Uh, I'm going to go... Can I go to the parlor? Nope, it's disconnected. I'll hope the 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 logic that they have behind it is that when it connected to whatever pipe is on the ground, that also yeah. connected a phone line to it. All right, and I think someone said that if I press B, it'll skip. This. Oh, okay, nice. Okay, so I can try. I just mash buttons to make it skip. That is but faster. <laughs> hey, you're out. Ow. <laughs> huh. A miracle seems to have occurred in this room. Looks like the lady has somehow managed to escape the chandelier. With her family's harmony restored, her fingers move more lightly than ever. That also means... Like... The little girl appears to be asleep. <laughs> I hope she's having pleasant <laughs> dreams at last. Oh, Her face is so wrinkled, Papa. <laughs> huh, I guess not. You were gonna say something? That means that she went straight back to typing instead of... Fixing everything. Oh, you know it. She has a deadline to meet, dude. <sighs> uh, let's check in on our minister. Let's see if, uh, okay, the B button does it. It's the X button that will do it at some yeah. point. All right. Hey, buddy. How's it going? Uh, what are we coming out of, Dad? Did I make the right decision? I can't believe I let a death row and go free. If only for the night. Maybe I wasn't cut out to be justice, minister. Just what kind of minister was I meant to be? Looks like there's no end to the minister's worrying. I'm gonna talk to him real quick. Yeah. Hey, buddy, how's it going? <laughs> oh. How's it going? What is the situation? Uh, looks like it's all coming to an end. It is? And so is Kevin Ellis' life. <laughs> oh, don't hesitate to ask if there's anything I can do. Maybe look the other way if it comes to minor illegalities. Uh, uh, thank you, Mr. Minister. Uh, I'll let everybody know. It's <laughs> quite a blessing, but a little scary, too. Daybreak isn't far off. It'll all be over soon. Off we go, then. Leave this place to me. See, he all looks right, like buddy. that, but then... <laughs> <laughs> Kemsic Park. <sighs> I couldn't skip through that one. No. Oh, my gosh. But, how's it going over here? Entrance to a nearly deserted, dimly lit park. Oh, oh my boy. God. <laughs> Stop the right and turn into Hazung's hat. Protect the park, the rock of the gods. <laughs> so because you do that somewhere else, I'm a little busy right now. I don't have time to talk. Then let me ask you this. The rock of the gods or this Camilla you mentioned. Which is more important? Please answer clearly and without reserve. Camilla, of course. <laughs> you fucking twat. <laughs> Camilla. The Camilla of the gods. <laughs> <laughs> Even knowing the situation, the scene still looks pretty suspicious. That poor, poor man. Uh, I'm gonna get out of here. We have context for the Rock of the Gods now. We do. Apparently we were killed by one uh, question mark. Ten years ago. And then, man, yeah. there's, there's all kinds of man. Because the ten years ago, I think, like, did we actually die? And we've been a ghost inside of ourselves for the past ten oh God. years? Like, there's a lot of questions the that we gotta ask the ourselves. Again. The, he is. The, I'll go miss him soon. But let's chef. go see if Bailey's doing a panic dance. Because I'm panic dancing right now. <laughs> there we go. Hello. Guys. God damn it. My favorite storyline is coming to an end. No. Aww. Guys. You got to tell me a little more. Uh, Let me just go to the... Oh, the basement Ooh. phone line's been cut. Interesting. And that's for that's the last place we saw the old man. Uh-huh. Well then. Hmm. Most curious indeed. 
And he's still gone. Yep. <laughs> shoes are still here. Yep. It was so important he left without his shoes. Incredible. Kitchen. We know our buddy's back here. Where's your waitress at? <laughs> Did she leave you? Well, I mean, she's a detective undercover, so yeah, she left. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like the chef is back. The rich sound of singing the delicious aroma of chicken fills the air. Does he not sleep? Nope. 24 7, even no one's coming in for anything. Yeah. La la la, the last chicken of the night. Oh, oh he's gonna cook it by me in a secret special way for me alone. Oh. Uh, the chicken, chicken, uh, the chicken <laughs> kitchen will open again tomorrow. The chef's chicken with the award. La la la. I sure gonna try some of that chicken. Chicken, chicken. God damn it. <laughs> Fucking hate this place. Um, Moonlight Courtyard. I want cake and chicken now. So far away. I know. Multiple states away. Yeah. Anyone here? Figured I would check one last time. Look at the moon. It's nice. Big moon. It's just a mature mask. Oh, it's falling <laughs> on us. No. All right. Uh, there's going to be no one in this old house. So Watch let's just go back to the super... <laughs> Don't put that evil on me. Why did you check here and not Camilla's old house? Well, this is going back to... No, I mean the moon place. I'll spend 10 extra seconds just to you, make you sure. You don't have to. Okay, never mind. Our thoughts done. All right. Oh, you, now it's bothering me, though. We need to talk. Um, How much do you fucking know, huh? Green, you're not going to know anything. Hey, do you, th uh. Uh, do you think you'd wake up for me? I'm nervous burping. <laughs> I'm confused. Oh, boy. Still unconscious, huh? Because he hasn't been dead for very long then. I'll just go ahead and go back to four minutes for his death. I'm a little nervous about what I might see yeah. there. Yeah. But if that's where I'm going to find my answers, I can't run away from it. You if I could me. turn back time, <laughs> I'd be a criminal. Oh my god. Okay. Yup. Once a criminal gets a punishment he deserves, the hostile piece to go free. Cut the execution immediately. And wait for our call. Were you forced to do this, or what's going on? Okay, so yeah. that makes a little more sense. That's a good boy. Gee, a hostage sure is a handy thing. Gives me complete control over the top police inspector in the country. Oh boy. My perfect record. No. <sighs> what's oh. the matter? <laughs> All those broken bones smart a bit. Dang. I must like to feel pain. Does it make you feel alive? Oh. That, that sure was an interesting word to put as all caps. Uh-huh. Wow. Well, are you doing this? Now, is that any kind of question for a top inspector to ask? Isn't it obvious? Revenge, of course. Revenge. Revenge on all the people who stole my life away ten years ago. Huh. Don't be ridiculous. There was a meteorite that stole your life. Have you forgotten that? Ooh. Wrong. Ow. But I guess I can't feel that. Yeah. I was murdered by all of you. That's just, yeah, that's proof that he fucking, wow, all right. <sighs> Detective Jowd, who chased me down, who chased me down and forced me into a corner, even thought I was innocent. Even though. I even though I was innocent. <laughs> Lynn, that girl who was right there where I was running. Lynn, she was just an innocent little girl playing in the park. If that brat hadn't been there, I never would have thought of, thought of taking a hostage. That's the most self-centered garbage I've ever heard. And finally you, Inspector Cabanella. Me? If you hadn't done what you did, I never would have pointed a gun at that kid. If you didn't arrest me, you little shit. <laughs> you were so proud of your spotless record. In my case was the one blot on it, wasn't it? Only two people know the real truth. Me and Detective Jowd. I bet tonight's execution will be quite a relief to you, won't it? One of the people who know about the stain on your record will disappear for good. That's why you didn't help him escape from prison. That's the kind of guy you are. Oh boy. I got nothing to say to you. You'd never listen anyway. Ooh. Damn. Oh, yeah, that's a dead body. <laughs> and it's just gonna come right back at you. Uh-huh. 
because it's a ghost, motherfucker. That's terrifying. I Whoa. hate the way he stood up. That kind of shows he's being controlled, too, uh -huh. by a ghost. Yeah, like a it puppet. Because it picked him off the ground. Literally like a puppet. <laughs> yeah, gods. Now then, Inspector. Time to make a big red stain on your spotless white coat. Oh! Huh. This was another condition of my deal. To wipe out everybody who knew about Temsic. Interesting. <laughs> Revenge? That's what I'm up to? None of this makes any sense! Uh, hey, man! Mountain, what's going on? <laughs> Inspector Cabanella! Oh, he's awake! I have spinning, baby! Come on, understand! That Cabanella character who just got shot is me? Uh, yeah, yeah that's right. <laughs> You're supposed to be the scoundrel there who just shot me? No, I... Uh... I guess so. But you couldn't be, could you? Huh? After all, the guy in the red suit just walked out the door, right? So, who are you? <laughs> I, I, I guess I just have to face it. No. I'm not that Sissel guy. I'm, I'm somebody who's searching for myself. That's why I'm here to save you. At the very least, you have information about that guy in red and information I need. So I came on a rescue mission now, did you? You like that sound of that, baby? <laughs> Cause there's a very important life here somewhere. A life valuable to this nation. Okay, so do your thing, baby. Huh. Hmm. Who are we? Huh. I'm gonna I'm gonna ghost trick so I stop time a little bit. But look at him. There's that <laughs> something emanating from his body. Uh-huh. Is it really a sign of having special powers of the dead? Or is it a sign that there's a fucking moon rock inside my goddamn spine? <laughs> or is it even ours? I'm gonna do a classic patented mask man bullshit 1% theory time. Oh boy. Unless I do fucking nail it, in which case, bravo to me and bravo to the game on this one in the first place. But I'm gonna throw it out there. Mm -hmm. Throw it out there. Okay. Because this is kind of bringing up a potential that we may not even be Sissel in the first place. Like we, we're an entirely different like person. Like we are someone else. Yeah, like that portrait that we've been using this whole time. It, it's it's more, just who we thought we it, were. Yeah, it's an assumed form that we thought we had. That's literally what I was about to say. <laughs> I am going to throw shit at the wall and see if it sticks. Okay. I'm going to say that we are the mother trying to get revenge for our death and get the truth of it revealed. Huh. I'm gonna say that the mother got ghost trick powers and has kind of been using it to try and, uh, you know, solve her case and solve, you know, fix Detective Jowd's past involving this from 10 years ago, you know, help her daughter and all that. I think that might be what's going on. I'm just going to throw it out there. I could be entirely wrong, because like I said, that seems like a 1% fever dream kind of thing. Yeah, but Yeah, because she would have to have been around for five years. Hey, we don't... Ray seems to have been around for a long time, too, so we don't know. Yeah, but he's gone now. But, well, he could be out there in the world doing something. Maybe we're right. No, that wouldn't make any sense. We're talking to ourselves as a desperate. Yeah. Let me think. So you're manipulator, too? I have ghost tricks, powers of the dead, yeah, but... I can't control living creatures. I'm thinking you better be very careful. That guy in red is a manipulator. Naturally, he knows about powers like yours. Huh? He realizes you're here? Things might get a little sticky. You're right, I'd better be careful. Huh. <sighs> that is a good question of how could we handle this? Maybe if I close the kettle lid do something that'll get this whole thing going weird in a way. <sighs> like, I might be able to stop the desk lamp right before right before he does something with it. Ooh. Oh, well, he's about to... Not gonna lie, that's really cool. <laughs> yeah, I wonder... Can I open it it just goes oh, to but... show how he's, that body is literally a puppet. Yeah. And the Phoenix Wright move. Uh... <laughs> Let me oh. see what happens. Ooh. Uh -oh. 
What? What's going on? I've never seen this ghost world like this. It's blue. So you're here, are you? Uh, he sensed my presence. <laughs> huh. I noticed you. Looking right at us. You think you can stop me, do you? I don't know why you're wearing my face. But you might as well give up now. I control everything. Damn it! Everything, including the life of this police inspector in white. God damn it. But I can do the same thing if I could swivel right now. <laughs> whoa, whoa, wait, don't shoot! He what what did I think was going to happen? Stop? Yeah. Okay, so the other me knows the powers of the dead well. Who wouldn't notice that you just did? You're barely shouting, look at me, baby. I think it might be hard to save you under these circumstances. Because he can use my powers right in front of him. Like I've got to do it when he's in. when he gets shot and can't watch me do anything. Oh, yeah, when he's a friggin' pile of meat, essentially. Yeah. yeah, very much so. Now, the question is Is there anything I can do? Okay, if I'm in the teapot kettle and he knocks me down, I can go to the fan and then potentially get onto the stool because he kind of goes across that way. I'm just going to let time go forward because mm. it's going to be a while until anything happens. I'm just going to, I'm going to close the lid because he didn't notice that before. It helps that it's facing the other way. Yeah. And it's a very yeah, small Same thing happened if I shake the hat right now because that knocks me down here. Not from that. Ooh. Uh, oh, this whole room's been destroyed. Oh, God, yeah. It, mm. Look at this place. It looks like a bomb went off in here. Yeah. Like, actually. <laughs> what in the world happened here? The dogs. It wasn't me. I think I'm starting to remember. You better tell me. Mm -hmm. Something bad happened here. I, well. <laughs> and now, there's another death lying hidden here. Are you serious? What? Another death. Didn't I tell you from the start? Didn't I say there was a very important life valuable in the nation here? I thought you were talking about you! Yeah. Huh. I'm just a crazy character in a white coat, baby. I don't have that much ego. <laughs> Who do you think I am, Johnny Bravo? One, two, three. Oh! Oh my god. The oh. bird's- Okay, the bird is saved. That was the most important life, but it's still here. <laughs> oh. I- That hey. was sad. Yeah, it really was. Hey, come to oh. think of it. Where's that old pigeon guy? That was so sad! <laughs> A tiny little coo. Yeah, I can't uh, get Aww. over there, so I've just got to. Uh, I'm gonna have to. Oh, that's gonna fall. Oh, baby. Got to get to the body. Yeah, look at. That's uh, so sad. Ooh, I can't get quite. Oh, I can't get over there right uh -oh. yet. Uh, hold on. I'm we gonna need, open the toolbox. We need. We need. Oh, there we go. That's what oh, we need. Oh, you see. I see. <laughs> okay. Now then, I can do two things. Yes. Number one, could I could go right the body to it, down there. or I could drop the body open. It's too heavy. I can't budge it. Mm. Oh, it opens upwards. No oh, surprise. Okay. I that amount of it. I what? <laughs> <laughs> no no more that one, baby. <laughs> Sorry, I had a little bit of alcohol before this. <laughs> I didn't actually. It's just my excuse. And there appears to be a death buried underneath that rubble. Please help that person. Hey, look at you. I'm sorry for suspecting you. You're a good chap. You're just the closest suspect I had before <sighs> myself. Um, excuse me. Are you awake? No. Of course. It should be without the bird. I don't sleep during work hours. <laughs> Professor, did you recognize me? There's only one crazy character in a white coat that I know of. <laughs> he hasn't lost his memory. I'm not the type who likes losing things. But never mind that. Coming out of this is quite a surprising guest you brought with you. Sounded like he didn't just blow up the place. Are you talking about me? Oh, there's a different guy. And I'm his guest, actually. Said he came to rescue us. Unlike you, my shop friend, he still hasn't gotten his memory back. Eh, pitiful. The Ouch, that hurts. <laughs> anyway, now that we've been going back for four minutes before your death, uh, in order to change your fate, that is. But don't we it in the past, man? Listen, we can go even further back. I've done it before. Yep. Still don't see a path to saving Inspector Cabanella. That was like we'll a warm-up for this. <laughs> Maybe I'll find a lead. If I could try Saving two lives in one was essentially again. a warm up for this. Yeah. Uh, but we don't have missiles help this time. 
All right, now how the fuck did this place blow up? I am going to assume that oh, we are. Oh, we're here. Oh. Okay. Huh. So this is where the body went. I've got a lot of questions that front. How many times I have to tell you, Professor? This place is dangerous. Don't be daft. I can't. I can't leave now. It's completely dead, but just I thought I'm getting a reading. A ghost reading. It's a source of his powers. If I remove it. He's not dead. He's just not there. The true form of the manipulation is something you can detect. It's a spirit. <laughs> Ridiculous. Well. Oh, boy. <laughs> So you figured it all out, huh? That's terrifying. Oh, shit. <laughs> Ugh. You're a clever man, Inspector Cabanella. So it's really true! Y Yo! I wasted a lot of time tonight because of you, Inspector. But it's all just like you said. I died 10 years ago. This body is just a vessel. A shell. I control everything. This shell. People. Just like I controlled the Justice Minister in Lynn. So it's true. You ended up with my baby that time. You made her shoot your shell. But why? Why would you do a thing like that? To create conclusive evidence. You know, on that security tape. Mm. Now she's a murderer too. She'll suffer just like you did. Just like Jow did. <laughs> <sighs> now then, Professor. I'm afraid it's time for you to die. Uh. It's your turn to die. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any grudge against you. I'm even grateful to you. <laughs> yeah, so actually let me live that. <laughs> I'll be leaving this country forever tonight. But before I do, I need to erase all evidence of these powers that these powers of mine exist. Along at the contraption in this room. Whoop! Oh boy. Why is he so cool though? <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> this time, the thing will work the way it was meant to, and it'll all be over. Keep it won't turn this time. He'll shoot his little arrow this way. So he knows about that even. That that proves that he was the manipulator yeah. that killed it. Professor, look out! I think that's how he got those broken bones. Yeah. <sighs> anyway, huh? I didn't know what he put that there. <laughs> he planned it all out tonight. Did my baby shoot him, having his corpse disappear? His corpse? Disappeared? That medical that medical examiner. Remember him? He was a complete nut imposter. Yep. Could have fooled me. <laughs> <laughs> He says he's going to take the corpse back to the lab. But he already made a deal with the manipulator to meet him and give him the body back. I wasn't going to let that happen, baby. It's out there, that plan, huh? You Notice right away the medical examiner didn't know the first thing about examining the body. I knew he was a fake, so I tracked him down and bought him off. Bought him off? I had him smoking the corpse in this room. Oh, we could find the source of his powers. So... My thought here that I think is I can be pretty confident on is that uh -huh. Inspector Cabanella has been working with this kooky old man as a way to kind of investigate the manipulator of sorts mm. and try and find evidence of like, you know, it had to be a this way source. to make things work. Well, most of the way the room's built like this has been like a study room to prove that Detective Jowd couldn't have, mm. you know, done anything and trying to prove that some outside force had to do it and hope that the brilliant man here could figure something out and use the body to help find the source of the powers. Mm -hmm. Because he doesn't seem to believe very much. In ghosts. <laughs> yeah. Well, so never in my wildest dreams, I think his abilities were powers of the dead. Anyway, there isn't much time. He's the other country before dawn. And I'm gonna follow him, of course, after I save you two. Something's been nagging at the back of my mind. I remember what Ray said to me tonight. He said that spirits cease to exist when the day breaks. 
But if that's true, yeah. how could a spirit from 10 years ago still be here? No time for thinking now, baby. Action in the name of the game. We can magic and take us back even further into the past. Ray could have lied to us. Yeah. I don't know. He could have lied to us to make we us didn't, work faster. Didn't roll an insight check. <laughs> <laughs> he Ray may have been like, you have to solve this tonight, by the way, because there's a time limit on this. Yeah. He probably, he could have said that honesty, because there yeah. was a sense of urgency. Yeah. Otherwise we'd be like, oh, we got all the time <sighs> in the world. He's like, no, now. Yeah. But then who is Ray? Um, I'm wondering if it's a good idea for me to try and hop into this body. Sure, why not? The voice of an old oh, man. Oh, it's the measuring like, device. Like, who, who could that be? No idea. Uh, and examine the measuring device. What in the world is this thing? This device has that meter right there to add into it. Mm. It detects temps of radiation. It responds. Got that kid? Is it a lovely thing? It's sometimes it's important not to think about things too much. Ah, better sorry, bear. <laughs> So Temtic is what they call the rock. Interesting. Yeah, Temtic's the name of the meteorite, remember? Yeah. It got named was, to that. Yeah, I was just making sure that they were like, that was, was can I lift the door Did on you? Did you forget that the, the whole spiel that that enthusiast with the flyers was talking about? No, I remember, I just couldn't tell if like the rock was officially called Temtic or yeah. if people just decided to like, oh, it's a Temtic. No, he said it was named that. Yeah. Still, you guess I can't open it. In fact, if I start standing on it, have anything to do with it? Do with it. I might look small, but I'm pretty heavy set. It's my bird. <laughs> Sounds so proud of that fact, too. This door. Such a pity. Too bad it doesn't open down one. Sometimes I can be so hard, wouldn't you agree, Professor? That's why I'm about dead. <laughs> <laughs> the door opens downward, huh? I'll break it and make it open downward. All right, I'm going to hop on the I'm device. I'm pretty sure the park... I'm um, pretty sure he said the park got named... Tempsic Park because of the meteorite called Tempsic. So. I mean, let me see if I can spin. Oh, oh, anything I do it! I just thought I'd try it out. You know, you got to set the contraption in motion. Oh. Yeah. I just thought. <laughs> I blow me up, is what he thought. <laughs> Oops. That was my bad. There aren't a whole <laughs> a lot of things I can use my tricks on in this room. You think? All right, man. Jump in there and stop that explosion, would you? Easy enough for you to say. Well, it should be to say, too. Stop that explosion, it'll do me in some other way. Fair enough. Then jump in there and take care of that man in red, would you? I repeat, easy enough for you to say. <laughs> and most likely possible to boot. That huge explosion didn't even make him bat an eye. Well, what do you propose then, Professor Preto? <laughs> Your best bet is to save me during explosion without him noticing. Easy enough for you to say, she's what's with all these people? God. Anywho, jump in there and do something. Well, I've got to take his device over. And then I've got to like... I don't stop yet. Uh -oh, I need to try and get over here. That's close to when... Can I even get to that box? That's close to when he uh, I can't sits get up. Over there. It's, I think he's... He, I think we got to get him to set up. Because that might help move... Uh, yeah, I think, because we got to wait for the professor to walk off of the lid over here is what we really need. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to stay in here for now and see what... Yeah, because I just can't reach yeah. over there right now. <laughs> the wiggle. <laughs> it's my wiggle of hell. Oh. Boy. There goes our body. That's terrifying. Yep, time is passing. I'm going to study this all. <laughs> All right. He, oh, oh! But now we're well. We might be able to. So you say can't open it. The fact that the guy on the red is standing alone have anything to do with it? Does anybody have you said that it looks too? Why are you asking me? <laughs> this door. Okay, I just. Huh. Door that opens downward. Ah. Uh, it's my. Is there a door around that opens downward? Don't think so. Can't reach that tire, but there's a random tire down there for some reason. Yeah. Oh, and all kinds oh. of rats. I've got it. Oh, God damn it, guys. Uh. I might have missed something for me there, yeah. but I don't know. I think you did. I was just exploring around a little bit while I could. You should have explored earlier. All right. Well, 
This is, uh, this is where it all goes wrong. Unless there's something I can do to stop this. Examine? Well, no, because that's just, like, I guess I'm just going to spin. I can halt the contraption. That won't really solve anything. That's a smart boy. You stop the explosion, just find another way to get me. And that would probably give away the fact that you're here, too. Oh, yeah. Have to rescue without stopping the explosion. Is that even possible? That has to be done. <laughs> Deal with it. <laughs> Oh boy. The only, thing that, the only thing I can really get to is this fucking door. But let me think. Perhaps I've already noticed. I'm running out, baby. Yeah, no, perhaps I know about it. I know. <laughs> but you know, there aren't a whole lot of things I can use my ghost tricks on in here. Looks like it's all over. Let's find another path. I'm sort of at a deadlock here. Whoa. Is it Sizzle? Hey, is that Ray? Please be missile. Please be missile. Or is it, Please be missile. I want it to be missile, be missile so bad. Hey, I know that voice. Oh. That's not a very missile thing to say. Uh uh. <sighs> Help me. Can, we uh, don't know. Well, where are you? Which one? I don't know. You take it. I don't know. Just, just mix it up a little bit. But I don't know. If it's Ray, then find me. <laughs> I don't know. Or I'm carried away. Wait. Who is this? Is it the bird? <laughs> huh? That's that frail sound call for help. The bird's right there. What do you mean? He's here somewhere. It could be Ray or Missile. It Which must one? be Ray. Because they said he. Missile's right a he too. Yeah. Yep. Well, uh, yeah. Well, yeah. Well, guy that looks a little it's, fragile, it's but missile. he has strength that, that surprise you. Oh, uh, you can't go back to the thing, uh, can you? I find him. No. Damn. Well, I uh, might be able to. Yes. <laughs> it won't be yeah. <laughs> that kind of, that kind of go uh, up, go that up. answers it. Say so. <laughs> I know. Help me. Where are you? Find me before I'm carried away. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. That I answers was literally it. just saying if only we had missile here. Of course, carried away no less. But I'm almost out of time. Should I look for him? Yeah. Absolutely. Is he in the suitcase? Well, no, because that's an examining, that's a measuring device. Oh, uh, okay. Where is he? Oh, man. I might have to go back in time and see if I can find another way around. Yeah. Because uh, that thing's going. Yeah, and this is a, a shot that allows me to open the door here before the explosion goes. Nope. You just stand on top. Settle. There he is again. Farewell. Sounds like a little pal was carried away. Where was he? I should have tried to find him somehow. You should have looked around, you know, from corner to corner, baby. Now what? Maybe I should start over? I wonder if he was the I arrow. Guess I should... Or maybe his body is actually here. Okay, I'm going to restart from the beginning. Yeah. I'm going to see if I can get when he's whipping the, the device around mm -hmm. onto the little uh, stuff on the left. Because otherwise, I've just got to look around. We got to look for that I flame. Can't, I can't get. Uh, no, I can't get there. Where is he at? So... Uh, in the dumpster, maybe? Did the rats carry him away? That might be it. But maybe by seeing him, we'll have, like, quote unquote, found him. So it won't matter about needing to. Ghost it up, but uh, because we can't get down there, no, but yeah, because we could rotate the tire with the bowling ball when time comes, uh -huh. but uh, because right. I really think they, I think this is that's the only place that missile can be. Mm -hmm. Oh, he wasn't even getting thrown into a trash can. How did he end up there? All right, uh, all this missile, missile. Missile! Because, like, th there's got to be something going on with that trash can. Missile? It can't just be nothing, right? Shizzle. Hey, I know that voice. Help me. Where are you? Find me! Before I'm carried away! Yep, there's all that. Okay, I just oh. had to be over here. Yep. Oh, he's oh, the he's leaf! The <laughs> I, I forgot thought, he was thought, in leaf mode. I thought he would have been smart enough to turn into something else. Oh, man. Cecil, here I am. Oh, my God. Oh, hey, it's... Michelle! What are you doing there? Do you really have to ask? 
Seriously, are you really going there? Uh, no, that's okay. Never mind. Anyway, I need your powers. Will you help me out? Of course. Here, let me come join you. No rush. It's fine. <laughs> oh god. Okay, here I am, Cecil. Now maybe things will flow in a new direction. Even though the flow of the sewer is a little bit stinky. Well, fate changed kind of. <laughs> Alright, now what can I do? Ooh. Cause I mean we can get around a lot now uh -huh. from here. Uh, but I can't do anything up top here. So that doesn't do anything. How do we sh Is there a door? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah. Is there a door that opens down that you can switch with the door that opens up? Um. Wait. Talk? Wait, hold on. Oh, that's just talking yeah. to me because I'm in that thing. Uh huh. Let me get out of the door and like yeah I'll just get over there no not that eh, <laughs> eh. yeah I can't reach far enough to like the trap over the top top because uh. that was a clever idea yeah but I don't even know what missile can do right now because I remember downward being in red so I'm like well huh I mean maybe let's try and talk let's see what we think do you remember how to use my powers? I do. Yeah, you can swap things that have the same shape, right? Well, to be precise, I can swap things that look like they have the same shape. What's the difference? As I was being carried by the wind and in falling into the river, I realized something. If you look at a thing from different angles, it looks different. You know, that's a pretty good point for a little doggy who came in with the sewage. <laughs> hey! All right. If I can hear your thoughts, you know. <laughs> Cause like I'm trying to figure out if time goes for so obviously that means that based mm -hmm. off of the angle of things we can make something look the same yeah oh the the bowling ball is not even an option so that oh. whole thing that I was thinking of is even possible uh there's no trap door up there <sighs> the leaf is now gone yep. way past us um Ball, lamp, telephone, toy, toy cake. cake. Does the toy cake look like anything that can be? Hmm. No. Oh, wait, let me see what's going on down. Oh, you can get over here now. Wait. Oh, well, I okay. Hold on. Those squeaky guys are making a fuss about something. So, so, my animal instincts are starting to surface. If you want to chase them, I think you have to be alive to do that. Huh. Some kind of rat or rat feast in the trash can. <laughs> I was thinking you should make a bigger commotion of that. It's a bigger commotion, huh? Hold on. Because I have a feeling if we can swap these around, the rat will be up and can help its friend. Yeah. Okay. We can change the door for the trash can lid. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh dear. Oh we can get the trash. Now that's what I'd call some proper commotion. They're making that trash can lid dance. Truth be told, I feel a bit like dancing now myself. If only I wasn't dead. It's getting harder and harder to hold my wild instincts back. What a dangerous bunch. Yeah, you can do that now. Oh. Oh. But I need this. Mm. Ooh, okay. Okay. Oh, yes. yeah. Yes. Because with this, then it's going to fall. Uh huh. I want to be in the. Don't swap. I want to get inside of it. So now I need to go a long way around so I can be inside yep. of it. Now fall before time runs out, please. Go! Oh my god! Oh, oh, it needs to fall just a little bit more. Yeah. Mm. There, no. Oh god, come on. There. Wow! Right on zero, baby. Whew. Look at him! And now I'm gonna die! <laughs> that guy's gonna be like, what the f And he'll think he's dead. Yeah. Sorry, little pigeon. Yeah, because the stuff's on top of the <laughs> yeah. thing. As for you, Inspector. <sighs> I have a little job for you. Oh, I can't move. I think I have four or five broken bones. Ow. 
I don't mind. It won't prevent me from manipulating you. It might make it hurt a little bit when I move you, though. Quite a bit, actually. So damn you! Pigeon. You know he's safe. Oh. <laughs> Little baby. Pigeon's free. We did it! Nice. I can't believe it. You lot actually pulled it off. Sorry, Inspector Cabanella. I couldn't do anything to help you. There I am, a poor broken heap of his legs. <laughs> but no matter, I enjoyed the show. Okay. The magic disappearing act, that is. Nothing like it, baby. Yeah, except, uh, like a normal magic trick, I'm the one that managed to vanish without a trace here. Updated the phone book. Probably for him that we changed his fate. Mm. Well, I'm gonna die, oh no. Right, you'd rather be dead, not that you want. It's just remembering the fact that right about now, Grimby has given the poor justice a real fraud. Uh oh that phone call, yeah? He was pretty upset. Um excuse me, mister. Huh? <laughs> You really shouldn't be mean like that. I'm being tortured by a dog, goddamn. <laughs> What's this lovely little creature? Oh, this little doggy is the warrior who keeps, Cam who keeps Camilla safe. Or he would be if he was actually still full of life. <laughs> Camilla. God's in heaven, what a terrible thing. A poor little girl. Taken hostage. It is a cruel twist of fate indeed. Wait a minute. Wait just a minute. Miss Camilla is a hostage? Yes, what's our little warrior? M Miss Camilla, a hostage? Uh oh. What's a hostage? <laughs> anyway, Inspector Cabanella. <laughs> We're just glossing over that. It's time to save your life now. Just glossing over the whole situation. But you're getting very far when you tried before, am I right? But this time it's different, right? So so this time I got a fucking dog. <laughs> That's right, with us working together, it's a whole different situation. Heck yeah. We'll save the inspector in white, and then we'll go rescue Camilla, okay? Okay, let's hurry up and get through this. Gee, kids, you're making me feel like an afterthought. <laughs> uh. Alright, let's get started. Inspector Cabanello's upstairs. So first step is to get up there. Cecil, I'll go up first and wait for you. I'm gonna need you, buddy. Oh, oh my god! Okay. Well, He zoomed so fast. He's got the zoomies. Okay, lovey dove. I need your help. <laughs> oh! Carry this measuring device upstairs. Has Mr. Ghost in it, so don't drop it. Don't <laughs> drop it, please. Don't drop it. That's its name. A little better than Pecky. Lovey <laughs> dove, that's so cute. Oh. All right. Oh, he's almost fallen. If I can think to myself quick, let me think. You've got grit, little pigeon. Better get up there before this little pigeon's strength gives out. Yeah. This is waiting for me. I'd better hurry. Boop. There boop, we go. Ba oop. There you are, Cecil. Sorry for the wait, missile. A little music. It's not fitting the situation, but. <sighs> Four minutes from now, the inspector will be killed by a gun. You're just dumping them somewhere fine, would you? <sighs> there you go with all that stuff again. That doesn't make any sense. You stop them from firing. I just kill you some other way. Wait a minute. That sounds familiar. Yeah. Yep, same situation as mine. The best bet this time around. So I'm gonna shoot, and then save Cabanel without him noticing. <sighs> it's even worse than last time. Mm -hmm. I heard something in there is jumping in and do something. Okay, I'm ready to jump in, Cecil. Don't forget, whenever you want to use my powers, just tap RT. Okay. Right trigger. I cannot move <laughs> from this spot one bit. So missile. Yes. Me looking around is all up. There's a knit hat. Interesting. Microscope. Microscope. Photos. And the photos. All right. If the knit hat looks familiar to the other one, it's almost. <laughs> I thought no. of one thing. What? What do you think? Uh, I don't know. You can't really look at it again, can you? What do you want me to look at? The knit hat. Oh, the Phoenix hat? Uh -huh. <laughs> I mean, it could be a call out to that. It could be. Um, what the fuck could Missile do around here? Aside from talking. Um. <laughs> and zooming. There's a kettle, a desk lamp, a telephone. 
There's a book. Does the book look like anything around here? Hmm. Nope. Sorry. Hang on. Just kind of got to. Oh, that was weird. I Do you want to talk to him real quick? Uh, See if he has any ideas. We can talk. So, say so. Could you explain something to me? Exactly how did the man in white die? He got shot with a gun. Gun, huh? I always wondered about those things. How come people die when they hear that loud bang? Huh? <laughs> oh, um. Hmm. Why do they? I don't remember. Wow. Ah, oh, brother, I hope I never lose my memory. <laughs> That's the white coat here to die because he got shot with a bullet. Bullet? Not a missile. <laughs> a little lump of metal. Proves fatal when it gets lodged in his head. Aha! I get That's it. That's a way to put it. <laughs> It's like a tiny little amino, right? <laughs> what? Yeah, um, something like that, I guess. Different shape, though. In that case, I have to be able to use my powers on it to save the man in white. Hey, good news, I like out. <laughs> can anybody here just call me Cabanella? Oh, yeah, can you replace the bullet oh. with something that wouldn't be fatal? I don't know. Um, That'd be a hell of a feat. I'm just going to uh, let time play out a little bit. You can bit. switch the helmet with the... Can you reach the... Let me see if I... If you can switch the helmet, because it's the same shape. No, I can't get that far. Because just I had the thought. Yeah. But I might need to move Again, something Again, the first. power move with the stove. <laughs> yeah. I might need to move something to do that. But then what good is it going to do us when we do that exactly? Mm. Oh, what? wait. Thought? Thought? Oh, did you see that? He turned around. That bad sister turned around. That's what I thought. If only I could be... Oh, and I can now get... You have to call him that. Yeah, maybe this is our chance to do some ghost tricks. This is the only time it takes his eye off of me, too. Yeah, that's how I do. Do it now. I'm going to take the first step towards saving the inspector. Okay. I'm going to switch, because if I go over here... Uh -huh. I can swivel the desk lamp. Because by swiveling the desk lamp... Might be able to make room for something. Or he might not notice that it moved when Maybe. it comes back, which can play in our favor a little bit. Because other than that, I have no idea what the fuck I would do. Because I still can't get around to anything else. Can't get around to the stepladder. <sighs> so... You can't do anything in front of him now. At least not yet. He's gonna turn around. Did he notice it? He didn't notice that it spun. Yeah. yeah that's so, I know honesty. Yeah, I'm gonna try. I wonder and... if you can move the stepladder away, so he wouldn't fall onto it when he gets shot. I can't make it to the stepladder though. That's the problem. Uh, missile can. Okay. All right. Let's utilize can this. Can we now? got? Oh, not not right now. Wow, the game doesn't can let me do anything even... there. But now the stepladder is close. Yeah? What about now? Okay, yeah. Alright, I can tell that music's about to go into the... Yep, yeah. Let's... <laughs> I just had to let the music kick in. <laughs> uh, hold on. Thought Bubble? Yikes, I'm a little scared right now. Why didn't he die? Because he's already dead. He died ten years ago. I knew full well he wouldn't die if I shot him. Then why'd you go to the trouble of shooting him at all? Time's almost up. That's enough chit chat. But now the situation has uh... changed slightly. These last split seconds are our chance. Now my question is, do I hit him with the desk lamp now or do I wait until he pulls the gun out? Mm. I think that's what I'm going to wait for because then I can have him shoot by accident yeah. with the gun being out. Not that I know that doesn't change Missile helping us at all with things, but uh -huh. is there anything that Missile can do from here? Because now that side of the room is pretty much impossible to reach. So, I'm just going to go for it. I'm going to wait for him to pull out the gun. Okay. As long as he pulls it out before the time of death thing shows up. Because if not, then I'm just going to bop him. I'm going to bop him. Uh, well, well, now he can... Well, no, the point was that I, I thought that the lamp would, you know, hit him in the back. But, uh... No. Well, what's going on? Let me see. Okay, yeah, we have seen the ghost world like before, actually. But uh, there's this whole thing... This is gonna. I'm. I'm just gonna. Yeah, I don't know why you do that. Cause like he uses the lamp to get the gun 
like it's because the time of, it's because i was running out of time the time of death thing was coming up which is when you get your last move yeah so i was hoping that things would happen before that but it didn't and i was thinking it was a quick little hint maybe yeah yeah i i know thing to do is aim for that break when he looks away so i can be sure i don't miss my chance what the so, fuck can I so do? So that when means he's whatever around? we have to do has to be done when he's turned around. But there's really not much that I can do. God, we're all the way over here. <laughs> it's okay. There you are, Cecil. Yeah. Cecil right. and missile. So that's not what we got from firing without noticing. In other words, the bullet will be the key. It says. <sighs> Maybe it's the bullet when Cabanella fires it. Oh. That's my last thought process on this. But uh, I'm kind of stuck over here for a long time, so Miss is the only one that can do anything right now. Huh. But then it goes into a whole... Well, okay. So now... I can get us set over here if I want to. I'll just sit in the phone. I'm good at that. Mm. Now his back is turned. You what know what that? You know what that hard hat kind of looks like? I could turn the desk lamp you on. You know right what now. the hard hat kind of looks like? What? A bullet. A little bit, kind of. I'm gonna turn the desk lamp on. And see if Cabanella notices that. No. Well, fuck me, dude. What the hell? I don't know. <laughs> I'm genuinely confused as to what I can do. I can't. Can you switch the kettle with the hat? I don't know. That's what I was just trying to do, but yeah. it would ha it would keep the little connection thing going. That's talking. Yeah. That's. Yeah, because the hat doesn't have that handle on the spout. I uh. genuinely lost for once. This is the first <laughs> time I've been genuinely lost. Yeah, in the whole game. Like typically, there's something that makes sense to me, but oh, when the when the lamp is turning, does it look like anything? I, Remember, because at different angles. Yeah, I thought the same thing. Um, let me uh. You can turn the lamp. Stop. No, nope, let me out. Let me uh. Oh, what does that look like? Well, that's just how you connect to me. It's so... Uh, uh, does it need to be, like, perfectly I can't lined even, up? I can't even get into the top part of it. It won't let me. Oh, God. I'm genuinely dumbfounded. Wait. I have an idea. What? I don't know if this is actually going to do anything, but... Because, like, us using the lamp when it's turned would make sense for... No, because I... Oh, fuck, he's turning back around already. God damn it. Because I was going to turn the lamp, drop the hat onto it, and then turn it back. Uh... That might be the Can only thing. Can you even do that, though? I would have checked I'm first. I'm going to try... Well, he turned... I can't do anything because he turned around. Yeah, but no, you still could have... You still could have checked if you could move it. Ah, a little late for that one now. Uh-huh. But, I mean... If I do it, I would like to try and do it successfully, so... Yes, I know, I'm here. <laughs> Once it's fired, the bullet will be the key to this whole thing. What does that mean? Once it's fired. That is so confusing. Like, even with the hint, I genuinely don't know what that means. I really think it has to do with... It's gotta have to do with the hats somehow. I know exactly what you mean. Like, I, get I know it does. For... I just don't know how to go about it. Alright, turn around. Yep, 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 yep. Quickly, 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 quickly. Now, quickly, now, quickly, now. Drop the hat. Yeah, no. Oh, but. Oh. What was that? Interesting. Oh, well, that's a new turn of events. Okay, um. We can't do anything in front of him now. No, but... But we can do stuff behind him! But what? what well, we we've always been able to do stuff behind him, but there's... Yeah, but now we, can, now we can move things. Well, not because Sissel still cannot reach over there. <sighs> so I'm going to hop in the hat and see what he does about that. 
Does he really not care? He doesn't care. But yeah, once he fires this, it doesn't... It, like, I can't do anything. Unfortunately. Right oh. Yeah, because I can only do this. Like, this whole sequence I can't change. Because I can't reach... Like you said, the hat switching makes perfect sense. But uh -huh. I can't do anything about that. And we don't even have any new thoughts on this one. Oh, man. Like, I was like, maybe there's a bullet inside him we can toy with. But no. Um... Wait. What? Ooh. Okay. You can drop the drop. Can you drop the? We can jiggle the hat and drop it. <gasps> now, now it's like a, it's a, it here. looks like a bullet now. It does look like a bullet. It now. looks like a bullet now. I knew one of the hats had to. I knew the hats had to do something. All right, something. but okay. how the fuck are we gonna? <laughs> do we just let time play out? Or like have missile be in the knit hat and then? I'm just gonna sit on the kettle and I'll let missile go into the knit hat. The knit hat. And I guess just let time play out because I can't do anything. Uh huh. I can't connect to the. Nope. Can't connect just to the gun. Stay in so the I'm hat. just gonna. Right, guys? Right, guys? Missile? 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 You wanna switch right about now? Missile? Oh. This is another condition of my deal. To wipe out everybody who knew about Tamsin. It's gonna shoot, it's too late! It's no use! Even with my powers, there's nothing I can do! This dialogue says otherwise. <laughs> I don't see anything to swap the bullet with. Yeah, she didn't make it in time. I'm so sorry, Inspector. I guess I have to try again. Again? Okay. I'm gonna shot again? No. There's gotta be. I can switch uh, with the. Okay, I can the switch book? with. Okay. But what would that do for me? Interesting. I don't know. Go for it. Oh, the hat would fall. Huh. Oh, but it got hung on the thing anyways. Yeah. That's weird. All right. Okay, so there's... I can swap it with something you know. I guess I'm going to look for something in the shame shape. Shame shape? <laughs> How the fuck? I I'm, thought it looked like a bullet to me, personally. It, it, do, it does technically look like a bullet, but it's so weird. It's telling us to do <sighs> something when we can't control anything. Like, it's so weird. So we have to get the book down. All right. Um, I can't do anything until... Uh, until he turns around. Until he turns around. Or yeah. well, until he knocks the tea kettle down. I, it's just looking even move Yeah, right that's true. Genuinely floored and dumbfounded. All right, because with this... Can't do anything in uh, front of him. Okay, and that's why we need to rotate the lamp, because I can't reach the yeah. hat on my own to knock it down. Gotta wait till he turns around. Yeah, yeah, your, your evil monologue. Okay. All right, swivel, swivel, swivel. So with that, I can do this and then <laughs> rock the helmet because that'll fall. Then, then it gets spooked, which turns it. So that shows that we've done something right on that. Uh-huh, he was like, what? And now I'm going to get over here so that once he gets shot, we can hop in the uh, mm -hmm. the cart as it rolls back towards us. That's right, because it's not close enough yet. This time I'm going to knock down the net hat faster yes. now that we know that we can now that that, that change makes sense uh -huh. we can do that i'll say to you you never listen anyway boo yep all right so from here yeah i hate the way you get up <laughs> it's so cool though <laughs> it is cool all right so from here all right, move he's not gonna be looking at all so i nope. can move this across Okay. Don't need to worry about those because I can do anything. Hat. Grab it. Get it over by the book. Step Ooh, ladder. Hurry. Try and do it as fast as I can. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Book. Uh, stay in the step ladder. Book, 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 book. Um. Switch. Switch that. So that's gonna fall and get right there. Now what? <laughs> Wait. There's a thought bubble. 
Well, how would you look at that right on the hook? I love knit hats. So warm and most of all soft. And now I'm looking at it. It has the same shape as a helmet you just knocked down. Uh -huh, I thought so. So I switch it again? Yeah. And now that's oh, now that's over here, I can switch these two. Uh, oh, oh. I, oh, I'm the wrong person. Hold on, missile. <laughs> Boy, this is going to be a tough... Can you not? Uh, the desk lamp is like half in the way. Ugh. But I can't move the desk lamp anymore. You got to wait until the lamp moves? I... He doesn't do that till the very end. Does that mean you had to have switched the lamp back? There's there's no way to do that because yeah, he, there's no time. he automatically so he automatically turns around after you do it. You can't because I'm trying to be as precise as I can, but oh, that's annoying. It is. How are you supposed to? I eh. no what? eh. It's impossible. Clearly, you're showing it's impossible. <laughs> they, it wouldn't be this difficult if it was supposed to. Maybe if it was on, a, maybe if it was on the original DS, it would be easier to do. I don't thing know. In, the only thing I can think of is it's, that I have to swivel the desk lamp back to get it out of my yeah, way. Yeah, but then he'll see. Yeah, he's just going. I can't. I. Oh my god. You can't make it. F well. No, because if that falls, then you can't switch it because it'll be squish again. I <sighs> just fucking... It's, it's so weird. Um... Alright. Oh! Whoa. Hit me? Because I had an idea, but I don't know if it's the right idea. Maybe. Because if you switch the hat and that thing, that'll be flat on the ground. And when it's flat like that, then maybe it'll look like a bullet. And that's when you're supposed to, because it's right underneath yeah, too. Yeah, maybe. So it'll be directly under. It's just with this under. thing in the way. It's with the lamp in the way. <laughs> yeah, I've got to unswivel the lamp again, which feels like garbage to me, but. Uh huh. What? Wait. Well, that's on the ground now, but I can't. But now do you can't switch that. them. Unless you want to just keep it in there and see if keep it in the knit hat, because getting shot with a book would have hurt. So I don't know. No, it won't even let me switch those two now. The book and the thing. But try just having missile stay in the knit hat. I don't I don't know. It's oh, Yeah, because all that happens would you, afterwards. Would you have had to because you can't stop it there, right? While it's moving? Because you have stopped it while no, the I lamp can't was moving? No, I can't. Oh, okay. It goes in these cutscenes and I can't stop anything. It's no use. God. <laughs> and it just puts the desk lamp right back to where it would have yeah. been an issue for me. So, so what? there's one last thought that I have to try <sighs> to get that out of my way. Because they're talking as about switching the two. Damn, they're talking about switching the two hats, which means that the lamp has to be out of the way. I I think this comes so down to being able to how? move objects and hop through them quickly. So number one, yeah, 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 I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. I have to do this perfectly. We're towards the end of the game, so of course I have to do things perfect like uh -huh. this. It just gets more right. and more difficult. I just need you to fucking get out of my way, all right? <laughs> need you. Bad Sissel. All right. Speed is key. So I have an idea. Uh-huh. So he's going to turn around. And then I'm going to do one of these quick. All right. I have turned it to turn on its own. When I leave, so it's now set back that way, and the hat's down here. Okay, so the, cool. The lamp is out of the way now. Oh my god! <sighs> <laughs> and All now right. I'm gonna get over here so I can get set for the yep. thing. Um, this will just be over here, cause why not? I think we should be okay now. All right, now he's got to get bopped. He's got to get shot. Uh huh. And then just crumple like a puppet. <laughs> yep. Blam. Yeah, I know. God, okay. that's so disturbing. <laughs> it really is. It's creepier every time. <laughs> All right, so from here, I can move this way. Get that. I can get up here. 
I can drop the hat. Book it. Get Literally down. book it. <laughs> Boop. Book it. And now I can book with missile. Book. Do the book. The hat's gonna go fall right there. Alright. And now there's nothing in my way. What? What? It's not doing the thing. You can't I don't think you can do it yet. But then when would I he's really going to die in two seconds. You have to wait. Wow, would you look at that right on the hook? That's almost, uh, yeah. The same shape as the helmet that you just knocked down. I thought so. I think you needed that prompt first. What? Or not. But we are missile, and missile will not connect the knit hat and the helmet. You, 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 do you I'm have going to, right between them. Do you have to push a certain button to switch? No, if you can switch an object, it auto connects. Maybe it's just not time yet? That wouldn't make sense. Wait, are you on zero right now? I'm on one. Maybe now. <laughs> I don't know. No, this unless I have to wait, wait for till zero. Unless I have to wait for the death prompt where it's like it's too late. It's the only thing I can try. Well, well. Well, no, hold on, because it does this. And then they all start talking to each other. Uh-huh. Oh. Our Wait, chance is coming, coming up. up. Wait. Our chance is coming up. The last split second, right? Leave it to me. We're ready. Missile? Have we finally solved it? Ooh. Ah. Uh, would you look at that? Bill is hanging a bit air between the gun and the inspector's forehead. Now's our chance. I'm I'm here in the bullet right now. Let's swap this little thing with something else. Oh, what? It's our only hope. There's gotta be something here. But the same shape and direction as the bullet. And that's going to be the hat. Yep. Oh, and it's I mean, soft. Do you know what kind of angers me? What? We technically had that set on the one run, but it wouldn't let us do it for some reason. What do you mean? We had the net hat set on the hook yeah. earlier, but the game wouldn't let us fix it. Oh, yeah. That's right. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> He probably, he probably thinks hysterical. he shot him. Yeah. Yeah, he thinks he shot him because he... Because that all happened so fast. I don't think you noticed. I think you pull it off another mag magic disappearing act. <laughs> Just don't move. And now I say again. Don't move. I love knit hats. It's a woman, most of all so. Did I... Did I do all right? I was the stupid one. You did wonderful, Missile. You did a fine job, little one. You saved another life. And I'll keep doing it too. Over and over. Fate <laughs> averted. Wow. What I saw in just these four minutes gave me all the answers I've been looking for. Want to research these past 10 years pales in comparison, right, Professor? So you two are working together? It's about the size of a yeah. Who believe a story about a manipulator? We pursued it ourselves, just the two of us. I'm quite a crazy character myself, after all. <laughs> okay, let's hurry back to our time. We have to rescue Miss Camilla. You're right, Missile. There's a certain guy I have to follow, too. <sighs> oh, that only took long enough. <laughs> Jeepers. And he's gone. Oh, God. <laughs> After completing his revenge on Inspector Cabanella, the man in red left. And now a new story is about to unfold and a new present. <laughs> hey, I'm alive, you shit. <laughs> How you feeling, you old crazy character? Oh, yeah, your broken bones are... <laughs> hey, the professor. I'm both alive. I see. Yeah, nothing like it, baby. I don't know if what I'm getting old or what. Got a few aches and pains here and there. Used to be a little thing like an explosion wouldn't bother me. All right, I'm going to believe that. <laughs> so, uh, the guy I read is gone, huh? As a case, I posted special investigation units all around the building. Just pray the boys come through for us. Oof. Ouch, Ow. you mama. Ow. Damn it, you picked a bad time not to listen to me, body of mine. <laughs> you won't be able to dance for a while. Put me in the chair. <laughs> oh, what's my thought think? Well, it looks like both of their think? deaths were erased. Fortunately, in the case of the inspector in white, 
can't call it a complete success. Yeah, I still but in got any broken case, bones. These two have the information I need to start tracking the manipulator. I better talk to them. All right, what's up? I knew things were going to end up like this. Would have tried to die in that explosion, baby. Well, they could have been dancing after Big Red by now. <laughs> uh, I might be able to raise deaths, but it's not true. I can't do much about injuries. But really, you shouldn't talk that way. Yeah, sorry. I suppose you're right. Just ain't feeling so helpless. Also, it wouldn't be guaranteed that you would have powers either, so... It was right there within my grasp. All the plans were rested on tonight, and then this had to happen. So he's thinking about his spotless record. Mm. It's not too late, Inspector. We still have a chance. Maybe I can catch him. Say, you're right. It's not a bad idea. I'll cooperate with you fully. Go ahead and fire away with any questions you like, Mr. Ghost. Oh, God, there's so much. Yeah. What's going on so long? I'm trying to do these little chapters. It, oh, my it God. might have to be too Well, far. no, because we're at the end of it now. So no. now we're already in the long haul. Oh, my that God. That guy mentioned revenge. Revenge against the people who stole his life away 10 years ago. Ha, <laughs> here's a fool. <laughs> He's what made the decision to take that little girl hostage and he wound up dead. He only has himself to blame. What about when he said this? I was murdered by all of you. Oh, Detective yeah. Jowd, who forced me into a corner, landing on yep, and finally you, Inspector Cabin. Now, know what you did. You know what you did, buddy. Eh. Yes. Ten years ago on that day. The Special Investigation Unit was working on a certain big case. We hauled in a young man, an important witness to our investigation. And then I did it. I made two very stupid mistakes. What'd you do? Detective, I'm telling you, I don't know anything about it. Fine, fine. You're under no obligation to talk, of course. But if you don't, the Special Investigation Unit can make the rest of your life a living hell. But, I... There's been a sign of the special investigation. Are you trying you to force a confession? I didn't share much info on big cases with a newbie like me yet. I wanted to impress them. Only supposed to be a simple matter of taking a statement. But I was too green. I pushed him too hard. Drove me to a corner and made him lose all hope. That was my first mistake. I made another mistake on top of that. I don't know, got him at. Do it as he is waiting for. Got him, be right there. You stay right here and be a good boy now. God. Do, 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 do. And that's when I did it. Left behind in the interrogation room. Oh. My gun. How could you. Use my gun to escape. What he said is true. If I hadn't made that mistake. If would have had a gun to point at Lynn in the first place. Well, I mean, you can, I mean, you can be a little blamed for that, but he took the gun after all. Yeah. I first found out about the manipulator's existence during a certain overseas communication. But what kind of police officer leaves a gun in an interrogation room? No, yeah, absolutely. That was a bad thing for a spotless record. <laughs> overseas communication. For national security purposes, this country keeps tabs on the communications networks. This particular communication was about making a deal with a certain foreign country. He said he wanted to buy him. Him and his powers. That's how we first heard about him. Was they didn't know what he looked like at the time. Wanted to prove these powers of his. He gave them two predictions. He foresaw two completely preposterous impossible cases. The case of man who would sing national secrets during a live rock concert broadcast. Mm. And the case of man who would take the chief commissioner hostage in his own office. And then he did them. <laughs> oh, those two inmates at the special prison, huh? Kept tabs on their communications and launched an investigation. And then finally pinpointed where they were going to meet tonight and staked it out. That restaurant, the chicken kitchen. Yep. We put our plans on leaving this country tonight. On a submarine that belongs to the other country in this deal. T submarine? We haven't been able to find out where it's going to surface. Terrifying to think he w what would happen if his powers were to fall into their hands. Right, how do I like that using for peace of purposes? And then they have that little girl as a hostage. Camilla. You have to stop him before he leaves the country. Hey, about your spotless record. Yeah. This spotless record of yours, uh, is it really that important to you? Of course, baby. In some ways it's more important to me than my life. 
in your life, huh? And for all it's because of my record, I've been able to get my hands on all intel as head of the Special Investigation Unit. And because of my position, I get to direct all aspects of the investigation into the manipulated case. Oh! The manipulated case? That's why you cared about your record so much? <laughs> <sighs> of course, why else, baby? I thought you were just being a selfish asshole. <laughs> Never would have believed a man. Jowd, shooting Alma. I didn't care that he confessed there was definitely something more to the store, some secret. Oh, my favorite track's playing now. I did everything I could to climb the ladder. Everything in my power. And I finally found the answer. Took five long years, though. That's a long time. The manipulator is going to prove that Jowd is innocent. What incredible determination. Let's talk about that. It's one thing I just don't understand. If you're, if you're so determined to help Detective Jow, why didn't you help him escape from prison? That's an easy one, baby. Escape from prison is a crime. Ah, well, well. Yeah. <laughs> Wasn't much to help him commit a crime after spending five years trying to prove him innocent. Yeah. And he himself has to be executed, you know. So men of law had to make sure the execution was stopped legally. Cause like the murder can be disproved, but if you're literally trying to leave prison, yeah. then that's yeah. That's why I brought him before the justice minister too. I need to buy as much time as I possibly could, baby. So that's it, huh? So it was all under the guise of doing something good. There's one little unfortunate result of all this. Uh, Lynn completely misunderstood your intentions. Yeah. <laughs> What's a little misunderstanding? My baby will come around, give it time. There are more important things to do with our time tonight. <sighs> Alright, thanks, homie. Now I've got to go talk to your friend. Yeah. The one single question, please. Mr. Superintendent, do you mind if I talk to you for a minute? I haven't always been a junkyard superintendent, you know. I used to be part of the police. Oh. The police, huh? Not a detective. That's a medical examiner. I investigated victims' cause of death. Interesting. Ten years ago, I was asked to autopsy a strange corpse. Hit by a meteorite fragment and died instantly. So the police report said. That's one hell of a thing to check out. Oh, uh, no signs of life. He was definitely dead. I never found an autopsy report. Why? It's because the corpse suddenly vanished. Got it. In behind only one clue. An unusual corpse. I bet that's what I've been chasing all night. Did you oh, think that, that was him? Mean. Yeah. Could you tell me more? Yeah, sure. I'm interested in your recovering your memory and finding your true identity, too. God damn it. And you have a corpse. Actually, I can describe it, too. It was an unusual corpse. He was dead, all right. No question about that. But there was a scratch on him. What? Not a scratch. I thought he was hit by a meteorite fragment. I don't understand it any more than you do. Weird. Very weird. I was completely bewildered. When I tried to autopsy him, it was even more puzzled. I couldn't perform the autopsy. You couldn't? What do you mean? Scalpel went in, but I couldn't cut. So I tried to make an incision. It would heal up in the very next instant. What? And that's how it went. And no scarring or blood either. Well, that explains that there's no wound. It turned him into a fucking monster. He's a super weapon. We are a super yeah. weapon. He's a super whatever the fuck it is. <laughs> and I had a chance to solve the mystery. Because the corpse up and vanished on us. Corpse up and vanished on us. Well, as well got it. Nobody could have stolen that body. But there, is a, there is one way the corpse could have disappeared. What's that? By walking out. But like the guards. You think someone would notice? Yeah. Oh, he's so cool. <laughs> Oh. And then he flushed himself down the toilet. <laughs> it got up, opened the door, and walked out on its own. Oh, the white. He was dead, but he wasn't dead. It's all through our own eyes tonight. Not even that explosion can kill him. No. He didn't even feel it when he slammed his fist on that stove. Yeah. Now, what's the clue left behind? Oh, except for hiding some data for some testing I did. That's some readings from some kind of radiation coming off that body. Radiation. What? He used all kinds of instruments, but I couldn't tell him exactly what kind of radiation it was. Things that aura that it all gives yeah, off. Yeah, like that's right. Some 
undiscovered type from an unknown world. Oh, oh, oh wait a minute. Could it be? That's right. It's coming from that meteorite fragment. Oh, yep. There he goes. There we get set up here. And, uh, you're fine, lovey dovey. <laughs> I went to the park and tested the spot where the meteorite fell. And just as I expected, I detected radiation coming from that crater. That was the exact same pattern of radiation as that of the corpse. At the time, I thought it was some kind of a mortal being. Yeah. He would die only to come back to life. I wanted to research it all in depth, so I quit my job as a medical police, exa police medical examiner. Several years later, I learned the connection between my research and the manipulator case. Thanks to the arrival of this crazy character here. <laughs> no, stop now, Professor. You want to see me blush? <laughs> oh boy, there's just more and more. <laughs> Welcome to the movie today, everybody. Yeah. It was about 10 years ago, I'd say. I thought, he said, I, I thought he said a year ago. A year ago, I'd say. Wait, she went. Yeah, check. Can you check? I'm it's kind of dumb. important. A year I'm losing ago. Lose my mind. It's been a long day for yeah. me. Yeah. That's bad. All right, came dancing into my research lab here. Oh my god! Wow, he he really did. Da, 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 da. He always comes in dancing. <laughs> hey, there was an oddball here who's researching Temzik. Is that you, baby? Also, why'd you give him the dose beam? Because <laughs> I wanted to. That's fair. Who are you to be calling anybody an oddball? And now we're best friends. <laughs> Unless you get in the manipulated case then. No, and I heard friends. there was a man who'd quit the police force to study the meteorite. When I heard that, it was like a meteorite had struck me on the head, but it didn't kill me. <laughs> the time we were just starting to get our leads on this manipulator, we didn't know who it was yet. But we knew he was communicating with a certain foreign country. One of these communications, we heard the manipulator say this. A source of my power is not of this world. And that's when I put two and two together, baby. The manipulator case in Temsek was somehow connected. Charles explained how five years ago he used his powers to manipulate a birthday surprise a little girl made for her mother. Yeah. And that gun to the contraption, most likely by controlling Camilla. Oh. I was going to say, why would Camilla put a gun there? All right, thanks, guys. It's that contraption in the basement here. You built that to try and help Detective Jow? That's right. Jow and I worked together back when I was at the force. I used reports of his case to try and recreate the device. That was just one part of it that I couldn't reproduce no matter how hard I tried. Really? Camilla told Jow it did something it shouldn't have. Made an impossible move. I added that part to the device I recreated. Put in a part that would allow Cupid to rotate. Otherwise, the gun wouldn't fire. Must mean somebody manipulated Camilla's contraption. Yeah. As a result, we proved ourselves that the manipulator actually existed. And he did it to get back at Jowd. Oh, oh, hey. Inspector Cabadilla! Oh, hey, baby. <laughs> hey, baby. <laughs> Don't mind me, I'm just hurt as fuck right now. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry about that phone call. Must have sounded like a real villain. I had a sporty image of me. And that cool cat inspector you always looked up to. Is that really the image she had of him? <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. Killing his wife in the name of vengeance. Damn. Yeah. Inspector Cabanella, I'm sorry. I just heard you were chasing after that man all this time to try and help Detective Jowd. This manipulator is such a dangerous character. I was hoping you'd have to be involved. So that's why you had me arrested tonight, isn't it? Like I always say, if somebody's in the way, throw them in the slammer. <laughs> Yikes. Tonight, I really thought we finally had him. But my body gave out on me right at the critical moment. It's like a cruel joke. Uh, <laughs> oh my god. But a, a, but a joke is a joke. You might as well laugh. Get out! <laughs> the minister called off the execution order. And while he was at it, he let Detective Zhao go free until tomorrow morning, too. That's a pretty extreme while he was at it. <laughs> pretty fucking wild if you ask me. <laughs> Sorry it took so long to get here. You can leave the rest to me. There you go again. You've always been like that. Make everybody else run around and then you swoop in at the last second. <laughs> Dad! Five years ago, 
Left this gun with me just before you turned yourself in. I promise to give it back to you one day. I'm Detective Gumshoe. <laughs> God, the prisoner outfit. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit of a mishmash. Aw, you've been waiting so long, Detective Yowd. Waiting for this day to come. Thanks for not giving up on me, Len. Okay, I'm off then. Good luck, my old friend. I just got flashbacks to something from Ace Attorney that is spoilers that I can't say in case Don't people are still anything. watching. You know what I'm talking about, though, right? I'm actually not sure. Oh, I'll tell you after this. This prison you gave me, it's just what I need. Oh, well, that's what. This prison you gave me, it's just what I need. <laughs> I was gonna say, wait, Thanks. what? <laughs> What's happening? I was just so used to doing job that yeah. it just kind of fucking snapped on you me. You mean Cabanella? Or Cabin? God damn it! <laughs> This has been a long episode after a long day. I'm glad you like it. Uh, There's something important about that watch. Yeah. Sissel, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. You and I have to go find that man. I need your help. Will you do this with me? Sure, but how? We don't know where the submarine is and the phone line doesn't work. They use communication cables to make their calls. We'll get you hooked up somehow. You'll see. Could you wait here until we do, please? Okay, fine. I'm counting on you. This true self you're looking for. I bet you'll find it soon. All right, I'm leaving, Inspector Cabanella. <laughs> it's almost dawn. I'm not who I thought I was. I'm actually further from knowing who I am than ever. But now I don't feel so alone. Each one of us, for his or her own reasons, is looking for the truth. Together, I think we can shed light on these mysteries and drive away the darkness. But it's almost dawn. Yeah. Dear God. <laughs> Boy, what a heck of an episode for us. How long was that? It's a full-on movie, baby. God. So I'm going to go ahead and save. But you know what? We're not going to have a difficulty like that ever again. Now, I know what tricks you're up to the day game. I know what bullshit you're looking at doing to me. <laughs> now, I'm going to make sure that we master you next time. <laughs> we'll master you at the end of the game. <laughs> that's always how it works for me. It's like, yeah. oh, I've learned how to play. Oh, and it's done. Granted, that's <laughs> that's the way it is for a lot of games that keep getting increasingly more complicated. Not Dark Souls. Not Well, that's, that's <laughs> Dark Souls. 